Halleluja. The testimony of a Christian is not a changed life. For a long time, we, we, we always think the, 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 the true picture, the testimony of a Christian is a changed life. You know, you're changed. Your behavior has changed. You're changed in your heart. But the true testimony of a Christian is much more deeper than that. It's much more potent than just a changed life. The true testimony of a Christian is an exchanged life. One in which the life of Jesus has been given and has been received. And now the life that you live, like the Bible says, is no longer your life. But the life that he has given to you in exchange for that which he has taken. The one he has taken that was full of sin, that was full of fear, that was bound and in slavery to the enemy. That exchange life is the essence of the redemptive work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. In Yoruba, they would say Irakpada. Irakpada, when you translate it back to English, basically meaning a buying back. A buying back. Imagine a slave at the port of the slave traders. And somebody comes and buys them buys them their freedom he buys them and doesn't enslave them any further he actually frees them to walk within the liberty that he has paid for the redemptive work of Jesus Christ is complete it was complete on the cross therein lies victory therein lies deliverance therein lies salvation therein lies purpose therein lies destiny Look no further for what you're supposed to be doing on the earth of what, or what your purpose is or what your destiny is or what your calling is because it is in the redemptive work of Jesus. It is in that exchanged life, not just a changed life, but an exchanged life, one in which you receive the life of Jesus. And the life that you live is no longer yours. Oh is no longer yours we give you praise I give you praise for the complete work on the cross of Calvary oh God thank you Lord thank you for redemption thank you for salvation thank you for deliverance thank you for the exchange thank you oh God because I'm no longer no longer a slave oh God I am free, I am free, walking in the liberty, liberty, liberty that Jesus Christ paid for. So we bless you, Lord, with a heart of gratitude. Oh, we come to you in thanksgiving, oh God. Kimbrando bi elo sufri nanu nos inne prinne nuno nande brando la rieda sulla prenu nuno nos Seated in 
majesty.
throw in pomp and splendor. Seated on the throne with your train filling the temple. Seated on the throne, ruling and reigning as Lord. You are seated on the throne in all the pomp and splendor. You are seated on the throne with your train filling. Seated on your throne, oh God, you are seated on your throne in victory. You are seated, you are seated, oh Lord, because you rule and reign, oh God. Oh, I am who I am.
the one who rules and reigns, the one who reigns forever. Jesus will rules and reigns, rules forever. Your scepter is power and strength and justice and majesty. You rule, you rule, you rule with strength, oh God. You rule in power, Lord. You reign and rule, oh God. Jesus, he reigns. Jesus, he reigns. Our God, he reigns. God, he reigns. Our God, he reigns. Majesty, O oh Lord, who compares to you, who can be likened unto you, you alone are God, all by yourself, O oh Lord. You are A to Z and everything in between, Master of the universe, Lord and King. You are creator of all the galaxies, sustainer and keeper of all things. Take up your holy throne, O oh God. 
Take up your holy throne, oh God. Sit on your holy throne, on the throne of my heart, oh God. My spirit contains you, Lord. My spirit, oh God, is open to you, Lord. Sit on the throne, sit on the throne. Take up your throne, take up your throne, oh God. On the increase of your government, there will be no end, oh Lord, in my life. You are lifted up above other gods. You are lifted up above everything else, oh God. You are lifted up above other gods. Let everything, oh God, that wants to exalt itself above the knowledge of Jesus be dethroned be cast aside be moved out oh God Lord take your place take your place take your place in our lives oh Lord take your place oh God you will live that up above other gods other gods you are lifted up above other gods. I make my life the temple. Yes, my life is your temple. Lord, make my heart your temple. Rule and reign. Make my life the temple. Make my life, oh God, the temple. Come and rule and reign. belong to you, oh God. Every breath that we breathe, every step that we take, every move that we make, oh God, belong to you, Jesus. We ask that you be enthroned afresh, oh God. We ask, oh Lord God Almighty, that the redemptive work that you did on the cross of Calvary, oh God, that we be reminded of it every single time, oh God, and every single time we enthrone you afresh, oh God. Every single day, oh God, we say, Lord, come and take up your place. Come and take up your place in our lives. Come and take up your place in our hearts, oh God. Because we belong to you. Because I belong to you, oh God. Because my life belongs to you. Because my days belong to you, oh God. Because the very things that I own dear, oh God, belong to you, oh God. Take up your throne, oh God. And rule. Rule from my heart. Rule from my life, oh God. days belong 